So here we are, 25th of February, 2021. Uh, I'm here two days after we released the stock clock to the attenuation tank. We're looking towards a tennis court pitch. Uh, and I'm just gonna take a bit of video just to show you the difference. Just two days of that draining. Um, this is a, looks like a completely different um, pitch. I'm gonna compare it with the previous video. Uh, when I get back to the, to base, but there's no obvious water until we get to the very lowest point of the pitch getting a bit squelchy now. Um, oh yeah, and here we've got the first bit of water and this is just in a completely different position. Well, it's the same position, but it's the, the area of wetness is now significantly smaller. There's a, quite a big damp patch here still. Let's see what happens to that over the next few days. But now let's walk up. Hopefully I can speed this up when I get into the editing suite. We're moving up the line that I did the other day, hopefully. Um, this is the training pitch uh, that was pretty substantially flooded the last video I took two days ago, just two days ago. And as you can see, um, whilst there's still some water there, those are different. Those are definitely smaller puddles. Uh, there's, and they're beginning to dry out like a couple of days. I think if we carry on at this rate, two, three more days uh, of not being swamped by the overflow from the um, attenuation lake, I think we might find those have gone. Let's go and have a look at some of the other puddles that we looked at uh, in the previous video. Um, again, still a bit of dampness up here. It's not a playable pitch by any uh, definition of the word playable but I think when you find when we get to the central puddle here you'll see again two days after we pull the plug on that attenuation lake this puddle here is significantly smaller uh, and again in two or three more days that'll be playable quite a bit of grass damage there unfortunately caused by the flooding uh, and now the pitch is beginning to get damp as we get back towards the um, attenuation lake, which is over there. Um, you can see this makes the pitch unplayable, but I've got great hopes that some of this is going to disappear as, as we start to recover. Uh, and then we get up to this area here, which is Still a, an area of concern. Slopes a bit towards the lake, so it's not a surprise that we've still got a bit of standing water here. Uh, and clearly, I'm gonna have to either shorten the pitch or get a bit more drying there uh, until we get to a playable pitch. Um, but we're going in the right direction, definitely. So, 